Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring a Cool Master, the Hyper 12 Black Edition. We're going to go see how silent it is. We're going to test it out, and we're going to crank it up. And we're also going to install it, so stick around if you guys want to see some more. So, All right, so let's open it up first. Um, I just took this little sticker off right now. So we're going to go ahead and open up Cool Master. Cool Master has a little pull-out area. Take out the first one. Uh, take the whole thing off. Ah, there we go. Um, we're gonna move the box to the side. We're gonna take this apart. Ah, here's the Cool Master system. Let's take out the whole thing. Damn, it's this is big, actually big. This is a good option instead of having the water cooling system. So it's for those people that want. You could actually add a second fan too. Um, they don't give you the bracket for the second fan. It's only for one fan. Um, I wish they had the second bracket for the second fan so I could actually and they have instructions how to set it up only one connection that just makes sense you know very simple to do just plug it in and you're ready to go um, I want to add a second fan so I am gonna get another bracket one of these brackets and, and install it so I am gonna do that uh, maybe they give it to you here so let's take a look let's see they can get uh, oh they do give it to you they give you a second one. This is great the, because I have an i9, so I do want to make sure that I do have the proper connection. So they give you the rubber legs, um, the actual connections for for the bracket itself, so you could uh, connect it to. Here's the side brackets. Oh, let's bring the, let's bring the whole thing out. I like it. So they give you for the AMD version of it and the back bracket too. You guys can see it. An extra connection for the power connection if you want to split the actual fans if you have two fans which is great uh, here's the connections that you need to actually tie it up and they give you a they give you a couple tools here not actually tools but the whole um everything you re require so let's go ahead and take a look at it and here's the main part of it these actually go on the side of it and when you put them on the side if you guys can see them on the side then the middle one there's a middle actually these are AMD and these are the ones that you need and then there goes one in the cross from it it grabs on which is not bad and it grabs on through here if you guys can see it so once you make the contact you lock them in there once you make the contact you should do it so this is for the System. Let me see how you guys can see it from up here at bird's eye view. There's two um, settings that you have to do, two actual screws that you'll plug in if you guys see it. Um, for a different formation, for the AMD, it's going to be, of course, different. It's going to be this one. And the AMD has a little slot that kind of grabs on. And they're a little wider. But this is for the actual Intel. And we're going to test them out. And before that, before I even test them out, I like to um, make sure that they're there's enough spacing so they do give you the screws that you're going to require to go in the center and you can lock this in and permanently from moving so let's go ahead and take everything out all right so i have an i9 and um i decided to add a secondary fan because i want to make sure that it's nice and cool so we got this going here the grip is on there um this one right here just all you gotta do is put it much um so it's nice and stable. I got two fans in there, if you guys can see it. Um, they're Corsair, both of them. Actually, one's Corsair, because that's the only one that's compatible with this. I have two connections now. Um, if you guys can see, there's a couple arrows that tell you exactly where the airflow goes. And then this one pushing in too. Don't feel any air here. And on this one, it's filling out, So which is great. See that? And this is gonna be facing one direction. So blowing in air out to the back that's pretty much how i want it standardize it all right so we're gonna prepare them and you can see they give me a couple pieces this motherboard has a brace for water cooling system and it's ready prepare or any kind of fan which i like about it so we're gonna go ahead and hand tie these in there in the corner and they should fit pretty much they're universal so so we're gonna set these up in place and they give you four of them we're gonna pre-test this make sure that they're fitting correctly so when this goes down 
we're gonna see it like this and it's gonna go all the way to the bottom of course we're gonna sink it up to the bottom all the way to the bottom it's gonna be screw in all the way so it's gonna be touching which is perfect that's what we want to see these two side by side you guys can see it now let's go ahead and prepare the actual fan the actual fan is, is it's gonna have to go this way in in the bottom of it like this you put one in like this and then you find the little screw drive the screw so we got that tight in there to the other side you just drop the screw in there it makes it easier there we go so all we need is the paste take this off and embed it in there so that should do it all right so we're gonna demo it right now i'm gonna see if i could get all the make sure i could get all the cables connected properly first and we're gonna see if i can embed it without removing some of the memory but it seems like i'm gonna have to remove some of the stuff it's gonna be hard it's gonna be tough i might have to remove the fans and put them at the end because um right now at the moment there is no way i could screw this on if you guys could see it they, they're being blocked so you're gonna have to remove them and it's very simple to remove them one pin comes out and then the other one so just make sure that you grab the pins um you pull back a little bit and you could keep them together see they all comes out one once you pull one end the other one comes out keep them separate and make sure that you put them back after um, not that very difficult to put them back so right now i'm just testing it out make sure without any paste or anything make sure you can line them up because uh, if you can notice they're not lining up so you just move them to the right you jump them you jump them jump them over to the right make sure they're in the right sockets and these are all you push them in and then you push them to the side like i say push them in and push them to the side so you could be in the right sockets and they're all lining up perfectly and all you have to do is embed it put your gel in there embed it and you're should be set so I don't, i'm not going to need required to move my any of my spacing any any of the memory or the actual video card so i could just embed it there so we're going to put the paste right now in there and make sure it's in there nice and neat and then i would suggest once in a while to replace the paste once a year at least or once every two years depends on the how heat how hot it gets or overclocking so we're going to start with the paste right now and I got the injection here. We just do a cross. I like to do a cross. Might as well finish this whole thing in there. Uh, it was not that much, so just put as much as you can, and that's it. That's all gone. It's a little tiny one, so might as well use it all. So now we're gonna peel this off. If you guys can see it peeling off for use only so we're gonna peel it off and then we're just gonna embed it in there and then we're gonna start screwing it in so go ahead and get one right So if you plug this in, the fans into the motherboard, you are able to control it, the fan control, right? Uh, if you plug it into the power, you're not gonna be able to because um, it goes directly to power source. Now, recommendation, sometimes it's not best to plug these into the motherboard, maybe keeping one off the motherboard and um, continue, see how it uses because of the power supply. So let's go ahead and plug the other one in. All right, we're just gonna do one fan right now. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in and we're gonna crank it up. And see how well it works and I see the fan working pretty quiet low in air it's not cranking up properly fan is really quiet really quiet I can feel the air coming in and coming out here so which is good that's what we want uh, I might just add extra fans on the top um, to keep the whole system cool for right now as it is it's it's, it's keeping it's normal we're going to see how hot it gets 
Uh, we're not gonna overclock it right now, but my, my mic is right here. It's like maybe a couple inches away, like maybe three or four inches away. Um, if you guys can see, I put the wind resistant on the on the mic so you won't hear the the wind itself. So we're gonna put it right over it, just in case. And I would say it would be like four inches away, all right? Quiet, really quiet. So um, the last one burned down on me. It's just too much water. I'm, I'm through with the water cooling systems now. I'm gonna use more of these fans, but they take more space. They take more uh, actual space. So. I'm okay with it. All right, we got it. Both of them on. Let's go ahead and crank it up. All right, let's see how cool it gets now.